The arts and culture sector has been one of the hardest hit during the pandemic. And to help out, the city of Fresno is now offering up to $1.5 million in grants. Our Dennis Valera explains how the new program will help institutions like museums, performing arts programs, and local artists. We were there when Roger Rocca's last in-person show ended in March. There hasn't been another since because of COVID-19. We had to put off our season almost entirely. To make up some lost funds, the good company players recently sold some of their costumes. But if they want to be here after the pandemic, they're hoping to get one of Fresno's arts and culture emergency relief grants. It would help with costs like rent, hopefully until Fresno County gets in a better tier, allowing performances again. If somebody gave us the go-ahead, we would be going ahead when the cliche of the show must go on is not a cliche to us. It's life or death. Performing arts programs and nonprofits could get a grant between ten to twenty-five thousand dollars. Cultural institutions like a museum, they could get a grant between ten to one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Local artists can get a grant of five thousand dollars. Photographer Marcos Dorado hopes to get a grant too. While he's been getting some more work recently, there's still a big hole to fill with his lack of income. Luckily, I had a little bit safe, but you know, it goes away pretty quickly. And so, certainly having a grant that comes around that is made specifically for individual artists is a, a great asset. Fresno City Council unanimously approved the program three weeks ago. Councilwoman Esmeralda Soria says while it's about helping the art community out, it's also about keeping some of Fresno's finest treasures alive. Entertainment and art, um, cultural events bring a lot of dollars to our local economy. And I think this is our way of saying, hey, we value you. We want to make sure that you exist beyond COVID, and we're happy to help them. A link to the application will be with this story online at yourcentralvalley.com. Dennis Valera, KC24, Local News That Matters.